This is a typical split fuss panel from the 1960s. You notice there's no main disconnect breaker at the top. Instead, you have to shut off these six breakers, all six of them, to shut off all the power. This breaker uh, controls the bottom breakers inside, called the house circuits, as you'll see in a second when I take the cover off. The main thing I'm seeing wrong with this panel is there's no marking that shows that these are main disconnects, which is required by the code. And also, down here, there's a GFCI breaker that's tripped and done reset. So let's open the panel. I already pulled the screws off. As you can see, this breaker that I was talking about has wiring that goes down to a bus bar that just serves these breakers. Other minor defects with this panel, you can see a, a double tap here, two wires going to one breaker. Uh, certain breakers are rated for this, this particular type isn't. There's a couple of these in this panel. Also, because we don't have a main breaker with a number on it, we have to look at the size of the service wires to determine the size of the panel. Here you can see a number two, you can see the two there on the copper wire. Number two wire is rated for 125 amp panel. Other minor things wrong with the panel, uh, there's several, cable sheathing is not allowed to extend into the panel more than one inch. Uh, here it comes all the way into the panel. You've got a little bit of uh, overpacked wire in here, you've got to push it in to close the cover, that's not good. And that's about it.